Good day everybody, welcome back. Yes, I'm still on this flower. It just seems like it needs something else. So, <laughs> uh, a little bit uh, further down, I will show you how um, I cut this little piece of uh, resin skin. It's got a little speck on it, but it doesn't matter. And see how it's all checkered? That's because of the, the plastic, the way it is. So it doesn't matter, it actually gives me a really interesting effect. So because I didn't send, if you watch the previous video, you will, if you've watched it, you'll know that I had some sort of a bump here, real, real kind of raised high up. So I chiseled it out, but some of the bits are still showing raised. Of course, when that um, resin uh, settled and relaxed, um, the thing popped up again. So I want to get rid of it, you know, but I don't want to cover the whole thing again. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, um, I think I might just add some interesting things and I'm using the Aldex extra, uh, sorry, Aldex crystal cast resin for this one. No particular reason. Actually, I prefer the uh, Mad Artist because it's uh, a little bit uh, denser than this. Um, but that's that's okay this one was just handy in a smaller bottle you know so that i can mix it real quick so what i'm doing i'm just applying it to the center here and i want it to stay there i don't want that to move i'm going to let this sit and set for a bit what i did was i got my heat gun heated it up from above from below um quite for some time you know carefully and safely to get rid of the bubbles as much as possible, then I tap it down like this. This helps the bubbles rise up to the top. Um, and I want to also I wanted to do that because I wanted to um, to get the resin, the heat, and everything to to create that chemi chemical reaction and and start the setting process. I wanted to start setting quicker because I need it nice and thick. I do apologise about my neighbours. Um, doing some uh, uh, edge trimming or whatever they're doing it's uh, you know just annoying because that happens a lot of the times when I'm trying to do some work here oh what I've got here whoops wrong one I've got some ultra fine glitter these are all the res of course and I just wanted to put this one this is the holographic one uh, it's called the hologram and I want to just sprinkle a little bit in just in the center and I will swirl it around because I do have a nice little pattern under there that's why I'm using this um, huge toothpick or a, a shish kebab stick whatever you whatever they're called and just kind of um, going up to that edge there and just swirling it around so you can still see that underneath there I might not even put the skin on top of it actually it looks quite nice because I thought you know if I do put the skin on top I'll get that checkered look as well looks a little bit like a uh, honeycomb that looks quite pretty and I might just and you are seeing me stick that um, uh, Kind of contaminated stick back into the my glitter and that is because the glitter just sticks to it and it's not leaving any residue in it you would not do this with your paste because that would definitely be a disaster for your paste okay so there you go a bit of a delicate kind of uh, movement they're trying to get all that glitter out but Spread it, spreading it around a little bit so it just looks neat and natural looking like so and yeah I can see that wanting to move out a bit I don't want it to do that it's, that is really annoying when that happens might have to put a stick under here just to raise it up a little bit push it back that way all right so we're gonna let that sit for a little bit so the idea was oh here it is to pop this on top of it and to get that honeycomb kind of look 
we'll see we'll see we'll let it set for a little bit actually I could probably do a little bit on the side here what I can do is um, I just want to see what it would look like if I did this what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna whack a little bit of this on there and just sprinkle some of this glitter onto it and just see what it looks like underneath okay so that's what I'm doing and turn it around yeah it looks really interesting okay we'll leave it might just wipe it because I don't want too much of it if I decide to pop it on there so I'll just wipe it but um, yeah it's not half too bad so I'll leave that just sit it here and yeah I'll be back I'll let that set sit a little bit and um, I'll be back all right so while that is sitting there and uh, setting a little bit just showing you how I cut out that little piece of skin uh, so what I did was I just placed the whole thing over the area that I wanted and I used a Posca pen just to outline it and then I just uh, cut it out and then I just wiped the Posca pen off just with my fingers because it was you know it comes off pretty easy off of uh, resin and uh, making sure I've got it right and yep yeah, that's how I wanted it actually it looks pretty good and then I'm going to show you a little close-up of what it looks like with and what without so that's it on it and then I move it away and put it back on so you can see that kind of a effect that it gives me okay so here we are we're back it's still pretty um, wet so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna and it, it seems to want to move outwards a little bit so I want to stop it from doing that uh, so what I'm gonna do is I plan to use some of this uh, silver this is ultra fine Whoop. that may have been a mistake because pushing in I just wanted to create like a, a barrier so it doesn't move so it stops that resin from moving and I want it to apply it here anyway so that's just what I'm doing and I've uh, put too much in there probably a mistake it worked well in my head what I'll do is I'll just push this back out now push it back out Maybe that's working just a little bit of a delicate operation pushing out what I can do is drop it a little bit let me just go around with some more of this glitter it's really hard to get it out in a straight line or a circle in this case that's why I'm using this little brush to just push it in to the edge of my flower center and I want it all the way to there And I need a little bit more. Just there. And in you go. I wanted it to be to have a silver ring. So it's all part of the plan. I just didn't plan for that resin to to start moving on me like it did. Let's have a look up there and see. It's a bit crooked here that just bring some of that over to here all right so now that I've done that I can oh nearly spill that wouldn't that be a mess I'm gonna add a tiny little bit of this resin and just see how that's helping 
that part push out. Problem is it's going to push out everywhere. But I really just want it pushing out here. Not touching it, just dropping, literally drop, a drop at a time. Now I just want to push that silver out. Don't want that silver in there. It seems to want to flow on top, which is really annoying now. So I have to go around and do the same. Yep, and he definitely likes to sit on top. Oh, anyway, we're going to get some more of this holographic. Sprinkle more in there. Just to... Ah, that's better. Look at that. Spreading it all around now. Beautiful. Problem is, I'm losing that design underneath there a little bit. That was not the plan, and that's because of the silver. It is what it is for now and I will need to leave it alone now let it set a little bit I don't want to heat it because I don't want that powder going everywhere just want it sitting like that however what I will do is I'm going to go around and clean the outer area and the way I'm going to do that is with my brush first it up because the brush is wet now from the alcohol wipe so it's easily picking up everything and there we go there looks all right then I'm going to get a clean wipe, or you can just get a dry wipe, it doesn't have to be a, a wet alcohol wipe. Um, I've just got them handy, that's why I'm using them. So I very carefully fold that up and just go around, pick up everything. You don't want that mm, part in there. Okay, I'm going to let that sit for a bit. Sit for a bit, see if I can bring you a little bit closer without wrecking it. So I'll show you what that looks like. See? Interesting. Okay. Um, we'll need to use, okay. Okay, so I don't have a dry cloth anyway, but I've got a whole packet of these really, really dense little... Uh, sponges they're just you know for applying makeup really and that wow that's drying it up beautifully just going around like that I just don't want that to alcohol sitting on on the resin drying up so I just wanted to make sure that I get rid of it and yeah that's really gripping now means it's dry okay so another thing that you can use okay I'm back after about 15 minutes uh, my resin is still quite loose, so I won't be using it, but I've got to watch it because it can turn within minutes. Um, I don't like how that's um, kind of covered all my little things there. So what I have here is just a little uh, mold. It's a clock mold, and I've already got some clear resin in there. I'm, what I'm going to do is just going to use my brush, and I know I will ruin this brush. Maybe I should just find another one. Okay, so I've got another brush. This one's already bit ruined. So what I'm just going to do is pick it up from the middle. I just want to open it up a bit more and just go around and plonk it on here so I'm just paint it on pretty much. That silver took over and I did not want it 
I didn't want that to happen. And it's still moving, so I've got to pick up all that resin now. These are the things you learn, <coughs> excuse me, when you make mistakes. See how that's opened it up a little bit now? I still want to use some of that hologram, but I don't want to use it like that. So I'm just wiping it off with my brush. So that's done now. So I'm going to have a little bit of holographic now. And whatever other drips I have, I just put on top. It creates really, really interesting effects. I'll put some over here as well, spread it around. <coughs> now what I'm going to do is get some of that holographic and just paint it on there. Just with the same paintbrush, just pop it in there like that because that's what I wanted. I just wanted it to be holographic in the middle there. I just uh, it's sticking because the resin is really sticky down there so I'm just pushing it out a little bit so you can still see that dark ring in there but you can still see specks of that hologram pigment on the side and no silver that silver was getting a little bit too annoying the way it was but it's a real heavy pigment because it's aluminium or aluminum as you would say in the states and a little bit of that uh, honeycomb yellow which has a green kind of a uh, hint hint of green in in it it's uh, yeah it's actually wow now I like it Every now and then I look up here to see because I get a better view from up rather than the side here. And yep, I'm good with that. Happy with that. I'm just going to clean my brush as good as I can and just use it for another kind of crappy little um, operation if I need to. So there you go. Just saturate it with that alcohol that's inside this wipe and leave it like that okay now let's see about this now I don't have gloves on I know you have noticed well this is starting to feel a little bit warm now you can tell and there's barely any bubbles in there because it's been sitting like that and I heated it up and everything so I'm gonna put my gloves back on just want to do a little actually probably don't even need the gloves for this this bit What I'm going to do is now just go around with my stick and apply a little bit of resin in that area, the bumpy area, and I'm going to go around here, just like that. You can paint like rose petals like this. It would be a really long, painful process. I think for me especially I'm not the most patient person when it comes to artwork. I suppose it depends on what I do. Okay, so that's looking really cool now. Gotta be careful not to overdo it. That looks pretty cool. How does it look from up there? Okay, looks alright. And I still got a lot of resin left there. Might even go around the edges because you'll still and, and yeah you might just go around the edges as well and because I've got lots of it and it should stay like that just 
through the stick helping it raise it would be much better if it was a little bit harder but it's not so I just got to do with what I've got and hopefully those two won't meet because that will be an absolute disaster we don't want them to meet because they'll merge together and we don't want that same as up here sometimes it's just taking a risk just lifts it up oh my god that looks so cool really cool I need my inner stick just to fix this bit here push it over I like it all right let me think on it okay I've decided to go around and lift the the edge a little bit because I've got enough just to go around a real like small line so we'll see and um, but while that's happening I just want to add a little bit of this uh, platinum this uh, holographic uh, sorry this is not the holographic one I could use the holographic one but just wanted to go in with the silver let's see what happens so I'm just going to dip my stick in this resin a little bit just to pick up some of this silver and then just drag it Around just so there's specks of silver in there and you can still see underneath it I could wait and do that after when it all it's almost set um, but I think I might get too much in there then okay, it's starting to set nicely and I'm not picking up any of the oh here there try the holographic one it's finer Just to give it, you know, just every here and there, just to give it that, oh yeah, that's definitely the go. Definitely. And you can still see that stuff underneath there. I think I've covered all of them. Just going to go around with a bit more. Maybe I was a little bit sheepish, sheepish with it here. Oh, I don't think I did this one. That looks really cool. Now we're going to go around and start. that's interesting so I'm just going to move it around now with my stick and just cover certain areas like that there
just go. Put a little blob just in the middle there. Just like that, and I might just do this one as well, actually. Oops, that's probably a bit too much. Because it will spread. That's lovely, just like that. And I almost forgot about my little piece here that I wanted to put on top. I don't know if I should now or not, but anyway, I'm going to give it a go. Just trying to see which way was it facing. Was it that way? I think it was around the other way. I can always pop it back out. Just want to see how it's going to look. Yep, gives me that nice honeycomb kind of effect, which I like. Okay. I don't think that's bad at all. Just pressing it in a little bit. bit of this resin left I might just heat it up a little bit my heat gun a second yep I've got a drop literally which I want to put on top there and maybe I can scrape up another little drop wow this look at that it's pretty thick now could even leave it like that let it sit like that on top 